All right, so Ceres. Um, yeah, it's Ceres. It's still, it's still Ceres. Don't, don't you worry about that. Oh, God, that was not good. Okay, so yeah, that's Ceres. Uh, moves annoyingly fast. Uh, thankfully, it does slow down, uh, which lets you hit it. Pretty sure there's some ridiculous thing you can do where you can two-shot Ceres with the charge beam slash. Um, but the more you hit it, the faster it goes. So. Yeah, you can't hit it once in its charge state, or the shine spark state. So yeah, shine spark, what are we getting after this? Okay, I'm... I'm terrible at avoiding this guy. <laughs> you really... you really... it's really hard to get a nail on this guy and know when to avoid him. Anyway, there we go, he's already done. Still gotta do the core X though. So, yeah. Um, that's... that's Ceres. Well, you know, let's fight you underwater. Why not? Uh, this was a mistake. <laughs> anyway, there we go, we got it. Do have to go? It's like a... Ugh, it's like a power star from Mario 64. We gotta go all the way over there. Okay. Speed booster power regained. Run until speed boost begins. Yeah, we get the speed booster now. Still no beam upgrades yet, if you're not counting the charge beam. Get the speed booster instead, and the speed booster in this game... Um, yeah, there's no run button in this game, so what you have to do... Is just run for a set amount of time, and you can still charge it. Um, oops, <laughs> damn it. Um, actually, I'm pretty sure you can go into more for... Whatever, I'm not gonna bother. Um, Point is, it's cool. It's the speed booster. So yeah, if you get panels like that, just like it's super, um, that means you have to use the speed booster in order to break it. So like this. There we go. So that's how you break those. All right. Let's head back down through here. That's. Uh, electric water. Um, ow. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. So, uh, now, yeah, so this is, this is a really specific scenario where it would be nice to have the, uh, diagonal downwards shot. We need the speed boost. <laughs> um, can't use that there. Uh, unless there's somewhere where we can... Hmm. No, we have to go to that blue hatch, I'm presuming. All the way over to the left. Which is through this door? Yep. And then the bottom door. Alright. So yeah, we get the speed booster, which is cool and all, but... Uh, you know, where's the beam upgrades? Where's the upgrades we're actually looking for, right? That's, that's how I feel whenever I play Super... Uh, sorry, Fusion. Like, you get, you get all the upgrades, like all the cool upgrades, but in the wrong order. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Why? Okay, that was that was a little more tense than I'd like, but... Uh, anyway. So we head through here to the pump control unit. See so yeah, we can still do the shine spark, like that. Which is fun. And it's actually really easy to do the shine spark in this game. Like, it's put weird directions and stuff like that. We need to break that. Um, where all you have to do is jump, and then for that split second where Samus is in midair, um, you just have to press a direction or hold the direction that you want to go. It could be diagonal. You can even do it in Morph Ball, uh, which is cool. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's grab this. Strange how that platform isn't moving, but uh, alright. <laughs> okay. So now we don't have to worry about those. Um, and now we can, one, explore, you know, a lot more of this area, two, head back to the navigation room, um, which is what we want to do. Because a lot of the sector is still 
Oh my word, that did a lot of damage. Okay, let's uh, let's let's play things a little more careful now. Um, if I fall into that wire, that will probably kill me. Okay, uh, let's not die, huh? Yeah, again, this is just one of those times where fusion catches you off guard with the amount of damage that you take. You go, Whoa, Jesus, really? So just kill enemies and grab their loot. Um, I should probably fall down to the bottom here. Is that speed boost? Yep. So, yeah, we can start from up here and go all the way down. Bam. Okay, oh god. Damn it, I didn't want to touch that. Ah, okay, well, now we can see this here. I'm um, pretty sure, do we have to do anything specific? No, I'm pretty sure, yeah, we just got through this. Okay, cool. Alright, let's get to a recharge room uh, immediately. Because um, we are not doing so hot. And just like um, Super, you're invulnerable while you do the speed boost. Oh god, that was a little dangerous. So, yeah, that's neat. Uh, I saw there was an item down there, but... Uh, no, I'd rather not... Oh god, no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I, I'm... I am very, very tense at the moment. Uh, this is not good. Um, like one more hit, I'm probably dead. Oh god, thank you, the recharge room. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, let's um, let's not have to let's not have to worry like that again, um, please. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that's that's sector four for now. As you can see, there's still more of the area. Ceres has been affected by the X2. Well, as a result, you recovered another ability. That's right, you may be able to face the SAX yet, but that's still a ways off. HQ has more support data, this time it's missiles upgrade data. You just really need this. But the data room here is sealed with a level 4 lock, the highest security level. Let's avoid opening on let's avoid opening sensitive areas unless it's necessary. Also, the route to the data room is in sector 2. No, because there's more SAX activity. I know a deliberate activity pattern as if it is blocking your recovery intentionally. Samus looks like your best option for this download is in Sector 3, the Pyro Sector. You'll find the Pyro Data Map Room on your map after using a navigation room there. Is your objective clear? Alright. Just thinking about it now, how cool would it be if, um... Fusion had like a, what if Fusion was sort of open-ended where, you know, in order to get to the last area you need to recover all your abilities, right? But you can go down any sector in any order that you want and fight the bosses in any order that you want. Um, and there's, the SAX is obviously around the place, so you, you want to not run into it. You know, obviously it would chase you around and you'd have to try and avoid it. There'd be all sorts of events that could happen. You know, you get all the stuff and then you go fight the final boss and all that. I think that'd be really neat. Obviously this is still good, but you know, I think that would also be pretty interesting. Alright, so this is Sector 3. Thankfully the X have not invaded this area yet. The data room here is sealed by another security hatch. In order to, do to download, you must find the security room here and activate level 2 hatches. This may allow the SAX and X parasites in the area, but we are left with no choice. Your recovery is our main goal. Data room is here, as I explained, security rooms can't be shown on the map. Be careful, Samus, you'll see very violent organisms here. And avoid the ultra heated areas. Your suit aren't can't take such high temperatures yet, but we're working on it. The two hatches are green. Release the lock and proceed to find the data room for download. Super missile data is ready. Your firepower will triple. Alright, so we need to find the uh, next security lock. It's actually safe here, and uh, then we'll continue on. All right, so the this is uh, the pyro sector, uh, which means it's, it's hot. <laughs> it's gonna be hot. So uh, yeah, I mean we don't have the various suit obviously, so we can't take the heat. 
Um, and we also can't take the hole. Oh, my lord. No, 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 no. Let's get out of there. Um, and out of here. So yeah, that's um, that's an example of uh, fire in the fire sector. Um, it actually has sort of desert-like properties. Oh, speed boost. Okay. Oops. <laughs> okay. I thought I st I thought I stored that, but I didn't. Okay. And now we just run through here. Bam. Again. <laughs> nope. Green little hatch. Okay. Um, is there something I'm missing here? Or can we just not do this until we get level 3 security hatch? Oops, it's not what I missed. Oh well. Actually, yeah, maybe uh, there's something by doing this. Oh, yep, okay. Uh, something there. <laughs> See, you always, always check with the long corridor like this. Um, any more? Yep, yep, yep. See that? We had to do that. <laughs> Alright. Security level 2 unlocked. Green hatch is now active. So that was quicker than I thought. Alright. We can head back. Oh, there's X parasites. Cool. <laughs> you uh, didn't stand a chance, buddy. Alright, we gotta do this. I want the slash. I need a slash. That's the slash. Yeah, yeah. Give me the slash. Okay. Okay. What am I doing? <laughs> Let's uh, actually pay attention to what I'm trying to do here. I don't know why I'm charging off this. There we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I always do that. You know, you get the... Uh, speed boost and you get the shine spark you're like yes cool the shine spark but then you use it and it's like you will there's nowhere that you can use it that you'll find naturally or very easily like you always go oh well why didn't like so okay so there's a speed booster panel there so we gotta do this yep no nope, that wasn't enough we gotta do it again Okay, so let's try going from all of this. I'm just getting beaten up because these enemies are just here and killing me over and over. See, they actually they make use the speed boost quite a lot through this area. Alright, so let's climb up here. Grab these. Um, miss the wall jump to go back. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately the wall jump is nowhere near as broken as it was in Super. Um, because that was absurd. Uh, which one of you is the bomb square? There we go. Which one of you is the... Okay, that one. <laughs> cool. It's not over yet, it's still... Yeah, see that? There's still more. Let's go through here. And it keeps going. Oh baby, we're not done yet. Oh baby, oh baby. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. Okay. Uh, can we? No. <laughs> we can't. All right. So we'll need super missiles to break that, obviously. See, this is like an arid environment here. That looks like something from Zebus, almost, but uh, should be from SR388. So yeah, there's a lot of enemies here that are from SR388, obviously, being that it's um, a research station that's over SR388. Oh, you're, you're tempting me. I don't think this is enough room. No, it's not. <laughs> well then, what happens if I look up there? Better get the data first, super missiles. So all this means is that now all of our regular missiles get converted into super missiles. Do they actually look different? No. 
but they function like super missiles. You saw how it's sort of was slow at the beginning and then it sped up. Yeah, just like super missiles, so. Maybe this extra room here will give me enough in order to get a shine spot going. Alright, okay. <laughs> Never mind. Like it's just barely not enough. Uh, this is now suddenly open. What's on the other side of that? Oh, and this is also broken. So, uh... Yeah, and there's rumbling. Uh-oh, boss time. Yeah, there's a save room. <laughs> okay. Let's save here. In a recharge room, thankfully, I was going to say. I don't know if there's a boss door before this one. And why is that, you ask? Well... Okay, well, first of all, let's get rid of you guys. Okay, well now we can actually take this out. Which is good. Alright. Can't break the floor there. Okay, well let's actually recharge again. Um <laughs> Just in case. Now let's see here. Um also, yeah, check out the little dust particle when you left it, when you land on there. It's pretty neat. So, uh, yeah, which way are we going? <laughs> okay. Um, I believe we already tried all the, all the other ways. Let's try through here again. Yep, here we go. This is I don't know the name of this boss, but the reason there's no uh, door before it is because it's a machine. Um, also, we need to use the super missiles. Yeah, this thing's kind of annoying. Uh, yeah, because it's a stupid fire pillar crap. Um, I don't think it jumps up, but yeah, you really want to stay up here the entire time. So yeah, it's, you got to avoid these. And they linger on a lot more than you'd think. In fact, they actually grow again. So I guess the strategy is stay right above or where they land, yeah? Yeah, okay. I am doing terrible at this because I'm not hitting him at all. Now you can press L to aim diagonally downward. I'm doing absolutely garbage here. Oh my lord. Ah, <laughs> I never liked this boss. Because oh, it's such a pain trying to hit him. Oh my... Okay, come on. This is, this is terrible. I'm doing so terribly here. Yeah, it's hitbox is very, very annoying. Oh my god, okay, come on. I would rather not die to this stupid thing. Yeah, hitting with a missile is very tough. Yeah, because when it does that, it becomes invulnerable to missile attacks, so... Now flame pillars block the missiles, okay. Oh my word, Jesus Christ. You can shoot straight down, which is okay. I completely forgot about that, but that helps things a bit. Okay, yeah, that definitely helps. <laughs> Alright, well, no wonder I wasn't doing so hot. Completely forgot about that. Alright, so this is a machine, so it's not actually corrupted by an X parasite at all. Um. It will still kill us though, because it's mad. <laughs> Angry machine. Alright, well there we go. That was a shocking display, but it's, it's done now. Oh god, I forgot about the debris. <laughs> okay. Well, now we have access to up here. That is a frustratingly tiny gap that we can't get through. There's no mini mushroom. This isn't New Super Mario Bros. We can... 
you know, beat the beat the boss, and with a mini mushroom you can go to the secret worlds or the world that you normally can't get to. Let's kill you. Let's not die. Um, first of all, I'd rather get through this game without dying once. All right. Well, now that we've beaten that, we don't actually get anything for it. Um, because it's just a machine. So that's unfortunate. Oh my god, let's not die, okay. Let's, um, let's get some yellow X parasites. Bleed. No, I don't need ammo. I mean, I sort of do, but I don't want any more. Oh, there was a expansion in that room, and I got no idea where. Oh, it'll be up here. No? Um. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> damn it. Is that going to come back down? No, it's not. Alright. Now then, let's reload the room again. Uh, let's take care of this. No, let's get down there. Let's take care of this enemy again. Make sure it doesn't destroy us. Take care of that one. On this, we can head up now. Uh, yeah, okay, there we go. There we go, okay. Sweet, energy, that was a perfect time for an energy tank, by the way. Okay. Sweet, well then, let's head back to a save room. It's up there. <laughs> I was just, uh, just double checking. And, uh... Once we do that, we'll actually end the quick uh, end the recording session. This it's been a shorter one, but um, you know that's it's all right because this game isn't that long. We can get through it pretty quickly. Hopefully, I'll get a decent ending screen. I'm taking a little bit of time here, but hopefully, I should be all right. But anyway, yeah, it's going to do it for this recording session of Metroid Fusion. So uh, yeah, uh, hey guys, hey guys. <laughs> I don't know. I'm starting the outro, but uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. So see you guys then.